Hello there, my name is uh, Maina. Welcome to my mathematics class. <clears throat> In our lesson today, we are going to look at uh, Form 1, Mathematics. And uh, the topic is uh, fractions. And in that fractions, we are specifically going to look at multiplication of mixed numbers. I have already put down an example. Actually, there are two examples. There is this uh, question one, and there is question two. We want to see how we multiply a mixed number. Uh, a mixed number is one which has an integral part, a whole number part, and a fractional part. So I have picked on uh, one and two thirds multiplied by two and um, a sixth as our first example. And the other one is four and a quarter multiplied by 2 and 3 over 34. So we, we can go to the first one. And even before we work this out, this is a topic in Form 1. But whatever we are discussing here was also done uh, at the primary school level. But you discover by the time the, the students get to Form 1, a few of the ideas are forgotten, but they are actually simple ideas. And like we've always said, mathematics is about practice. If that practice is not there, even very simple concepts are forgotten. And that's the purpose of these uh, video lessons, to keep our students um, mentally in contact with what they have done in the past. And uh, this forms some of the questions that you get in paper one at form four. So let's go there right away. I think we need to start with the, uh, we start with this first one and we look at how we do it. So we can do it right here. Now, we remind ourselves that we multiply this number by the denominator that gives us three and then we add what is in the numerator. And therefore, this becomes um, 5 over 3 multiplied by, and this now is 2 times 6, that's 12, and that becomes 13, divided by 6, and this is something now that we can work out. We multiply 5 by 13, and that gives us uh, 65, this one is 18. And again, the idea of dividing, for example, 65 by 18, this is something that was discussed again at the primary school level. But just looking at it, we see 18 goes into 65 three times because of 54. Therefore, we get 3. And 65 minus 54, that gives us 11. So there is a remainder of 11 over uh, 18. So, it's as simple as that. Um, that reminds us how we do this. Now, as we move on in this um, topic, we'll be looking at the order of operations, the multiplication, the division, the addition, uh, subtraction, how to simplify brackets. So at the end of it all, we'll get a question maybe from uh, past uh, form for paper and work it out so that we see that um, Form 1 knowledge is also required <clears throat> uh, during the uh, summative evaluation. Uh, so we go to the second part. We have 4 and a quarter multiplied by 2 and 3 over 34. So again, we change this one by multiplying 4 by 4. That, that gives us 16. 16 plus 1, that's 17 over 4 multiplied by 2 and 3 over 34. So we multiply again 2 by 34, that's 68. Then we add 3 to make 71 over 34. 
but this one can be simplified further because we can see uh, 17 goes into 34 twice and therefore we have uh, one there and two here and then uh, this simplifies to 71 divided by 8 again we need to do the division 71 divided by 8 8 goes 8 times 8 is 64 so it, 8 goes 8 times in 71 and then we are left with uh, uh, this is 64 and therefore 7 so 8 times and a remainder of 7 and therefore we have it like that want now to have some questions that we can look at for our homework and here they are so we need some questions for our assignment and we have one two and a third multiplied by um, six and a quarter we are required to evaluate to evaluate. We have here two, we have uh, six and eleven over nine and over nineteen multiplied by thirteen and seven over eleven. Yeah, we can look at that for our homework and um, in our next lesson we are going to look at division of fractions make sure you subscribe so that when we come to that discussion you're going to be part of it otherwise for me for me it's goodbye until we meet um, in the next lesson